Hi, I'm now at the Olympic Park with Jane Erickson, a Canadian who has been living in Beijing for two years. She's going to show us some of the public signs with uh, ridiculous English translations, which make uh, foreigners laugh, mm. right? Yes. Actually, this Chinese phrase uh, means this. Interesting. So it means the grass is smiling. Smiling at you, please detour. <laughs> Does it make any sense? To you? <laughs> not really. It doesn't make any sense. We know it means maybe not to stand on the grass or not to walk over it, but the grass is smiling. I mean, this is definitely a direct translation. So, Jin, we came across another bad sign, right? Mm. Please show us. Okay, it says tender, fragrant grass. How hard hearted to trample them. This is so confusing. Um, it sounds like the translation here, it sounds like the grass is some kind of person. Does the hard hearted exist in the <laughs> dictionary? Well, we do have this word in the English language, but how hard hearted? It sounds like you're going to break a woman's heart. I mean, this is just grass, so <laughs> it's really funny. I, I like this sign. <laughs> well, these are some of the confusing signs visitors will find at this famous tourist spot. I think Jane has found more mistakes. Let's go find out. So we're in the public washrooms at the Beijing Olympic site and uh, we just found this really funny sign up here that says SWAT. Now this is a new sign but it's still a little confusing. We're not sure what we should do. For foreigners, some of them they're not sure when they come to a public toilet if they should squat or what. But obviously, you know, here we've got the squat toilets. But SWAT, I'm not sure what that means. Foreigners will be able to find many bad signs around the city. These 40 Chinese English translations are popularly known here in China as Chenglish. I've seen a sign in a building site that had a man crossed, which meant basically nobody is allowed to walk there. And in Chinese it said something like uh, construction in progress, but the translation in English said erection in progress. So every single foreigner was just taking lots of pictures of it because it's hilarious. I think when Chinese people use uh, online translators for longer sentences and just the grammar, the sentence, the structure is all mis mixed up. As Beijing becomes an international city, there will no doubt be more public signs in other foreign languages. Places like the water cube and the bird's nest now have French signs as well. But unfortunately, not many are well translated either. Well, I think it's, you know, one improvement that's, you know, obviously the, the government is trying to cater to, you know, international guests. So I think that's a good thing that you've got, you know, both English and French signs. So um, I guess now what needs to happen uh, in Beijing in the future is making sure that, you know, these signs um, clearly show what people need to do. In December 2010, the city government, Beijing Multilingual Service Centre and Beijing Foreign Studies University launched a campaign to identify incorrect translations in English and French in the hope of standardising signages at public places. More than 500 student volunteers from five major universities have visited the airport, Bird's Nest, Water Cube, Summer Palace, Beijing Friendship Hospital and all subway stations. They collected more than 3,000 examples of 40 translations. In the summer vacations, students can use the However, it will be hard to read Beijing streets completely of Chinglish because private shop owners are not required to rectify their bad translations. 每年其实北京市政府这边也是有到酒吧街和这种那个秀水街就小商品市场可能外国人比较聚集的地方进行这种大规模的纠错然后那种纠错的行为就是我们现场告诉这些店主他们的哪些的标识是错误的需要修改成
，呃，店主可能是希望通过这种错误的标识，呃，去吸引一些顾客，啊、呃，那个，所以我们这种的落实不是特别的理想，但是我们也会不断去做。我相信，如果通过我们不断的努力的话，呃，在首先把北京市的公共场所的标识完善之后，我们再逐步的完成对这些私人场所的标识的这种纠错，北京市的整体的标识的这种情况会得到一个不断的改善。Although the number of faulty translations have reduced significantly over the last few years, judging from what I see on the streets of Beijing, I think there is more that needs to be done.